The foothills of Himalayas are large and verdant, but the higher you go, the fewer the plants there are. It's getting cold and windy, and from above comes an invisible barrage of ultraviolet light. As the landscape gets dull, botanist found something attractive, like a torch looming out of the mist. Snow lotuses. It's rare to see so many of them together, taking up the entire slope. Botanists still believe this is how they've survived the strong winds here. But the most extraordinary part is this pale yellow leaves. They're not petals. Botanists to call them bracts. This papery and translucent leafy bracts has no chlorophyll, and enclose the flowers throughout their development. They then fall off after the fruits and seeds mature. That's the survival secret of the snow lotus. You latch it, you 搅制层。对，所以说你那个雨浇成雪，人家不会说浇透了。Scientists have found that a bract can keep out the ultraviolet. But allow visible and infrared light to pass through and trap the resulting heat, just like the glass or plastic covers of a greenhouse. 研究测定过这个包叶雪莲的这个小温室的里面和外面的温度，里面会高出环境温度好几度。The heat boosts pollen germination and seed development, and for insects, those plants might be the only cozy shelter. In an unforgiving environment. 看到这些白白的了吗？这白白的点儿，这就是虫的卵。它这是也是吸引这些小虫的一个方式。对对对对。然后告诉小虫，我这暖和，我这快来呀。我这暖和，你来。然后进去之后还有香味儿，哎，还有吃的。我这又暖和又有吃的。对，我这是个是个小旅馆，挺好的。Larvae feeding on the seeds might be a downside, but that could be outweighed by the benefits of pollination by insects. 因为包片自己如果包起来，风是吹不到的，所以它的花粉出不来。出不来呢，如果蚂蚁昆虫进去呢，就可以把花粉带出来到另外一朵花里面去，就可以完成一个传粉的过程。One thing is clear: humans did not invent the greenhouse first; nature did. <音>